good morning. I am out and about today, which is good, I suppose. I haven't been out of the house since I uh, came home from Nikki and John's. Just been in the closets. So I am uh, running over to my mom's right now because I am uh, overdrawn at the bank because my mortgage came out yesterday and it was overdrawn by eight cents. So the bank charged me sixty dollars in overdraft fees for those eight cents. Yeah. So overdrawn about sixty-seven dollars total. So I need to um, pick up a hundred dollars to put back into my bank so that they just won't decide to bounce my mortgage check waiting for a check from Anita again so hopefully that'll come today and fix all that problems so then I'm running over to uh, the post office and that's pretty much the, my day and um, yeah, then I'll see if I can get back into the upstairs finish up what I'm doing up there hello everybody I didn't do a good morning Sorry, I've been awake all day and doing stuff on YouTube. I've been watching other people's videos, trying to get caught up on some of you. I might not go back and catch up on everybody, but I'm going to try and stay current on everybody. How is that sound? Hey. So anyway, I just finished watching Orange is the New Black. I watched the entire four seasons. Very, very, very disturbing ending. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, wasn't very nice ending. Kind of uh, depressing. Um, but it's a good show. I'm really enjoying it. I gotta wait now for the next season to start. Don't know when that is, but I will find out and keep watching that. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next and start watching, but I know right now I am going to um, watch some more videos on YouTube and respond to more comments that I have. Oh, that's not a good direction. Um, respond to some more comments that I have on the videos that I do have right now up. Um, that's about it. It's just been a nice, quiet, relaxing day. Um, Megan leaves tomorrow to go back up to college. I won't get to see her before she leaves, but Kevin and I will be taking a ride up to UC Davis to visit her um, within the next few weeks or so. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, just been doing some coloring and stuff like that. And there we go. <laughs> and... Uh, playing with the dogs and working on YouTube and watching Orange is the New Black. Now that that's done, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to watch. Can't wait till October 23rd so I could start watching The Walking Dead. Um, it was suggested that I do on Monday mornings a Walking Dead uh, video uh, discussing the episode. I know not everybody watches it when it is on TV that some people record it and go back and watch it at another time. So what does everybody think about me doing a video and everybody being involved discussing the episode the following Monday and putting spoiler alert for those of you that don't watch it um, per episode. What do you guys all think? I love The Walking Dead so much that, you know, I would love to be able to talk about it with all of you that do watch it and um, want to get you guys' opinion and see what you guys think about that. Okay, gang, so today I'm in my garage, my favorite place to be. It's almost clean, but it's not. I did clean the uh, counter, my uh, workspace, my workbench 
enough that I can do something in here. I got the wash going in the back. So I've got this circuit board that goes to Nikki and John's refrigerator. And I need to solder all these pins back onto here. So if that doesn't work, then I have to buy one, which is, it's, I can get it for like $30, but I might as well give it a try and see if I can solder this on. I got my soldering iron out. I got my dad's old soldering kit. There's ancient stuff in here, including flux. Good old fashioned flux is probably 40 years old and probably some real lead um, solder but I uh, probably won't be using the real lead solder. I'll be using the uh, more modern stuff, so just in case. All right, so my uh, soldering iron's getting warm. I can smell it. I'm gonna get out some of my flux. What I'm gonna do is just dab the connectors lightly into the the flux the flux helps the uh, solder stick and what I'm gonna try first is just to see if I can heat them back together without adding any uh, solder This might be all I need to do. It seems to be cooperating. Yeah, it, it looks like I have them all making contact. And I have no flow over or anything. There we go. I got that. And that's it. That was easier than I uh, anticipated. Now I hope it actually works. All right, so now I'm back upstairs and I'm sanding it again. I'm in the uh, smaller of the rooms, the darker one, and I'm sanding the ceiling. And I cannot use the, uh, the sanding system that I have because it's just too heavy and I'm just too old to be doing that over my head. And there's a lot of scraping that needed to happen in here. Uh, Megan painted this room and she tended to uh, be in a rush, lacked uh, uh, patience. So the roof didn't come out that great, or the ceiling I should say, didn't come out that great. And she used a semi-gloss on the roof. And I gotta tell you, in, unless your ceiling is perfectly flat, never use a semi-gloss, always use a flat covers a lot of uh, imperfections. Hey guys, I'm back and I've been watching some of your YouTube videos and I came across this channel called Josh and Callie, The Freedom Theory. And do you remember a while back how I kept talking and I kept trying to get Kevin to buy an RV and just go traveling and visiting different YouTubers and different friends and family members and just living like that. Well, that's what they do. And I just watched episode three, or excuse me, season three, episode six. So they've been doing this for some time now. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to start watching them from the beginning. So I'll leave a link to their channel down below, but I'm going to go check it out. I don't know about you guys. I think it's pretty cool. And it's something that I had actually thought about doing. So I'm going to go see how they do it. Catch you guys a little later. Okay, so I did my second coat of um, um, joint compound. Always have to do a second coat when you're using joint compound because it shrinks. And uh, so you get some pull away from corners of holes and things like that. So 
Yeah, so I have to do that. There's, the ceiling in here is in pretty good shape. I don't have to worry about that as I did this room. And uh, so I just need to, one more sanding, light sanding, just the spots that I redid, and then it's time for paint. Yeah. Okay guys, it's time to feed the dogs. Gotta get Kenobi's bowl. They're all gonna come running any second now. Here comes Kenobi. <laughs> and there goes Lola! <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna say goodnight to you all right now before it gets unbearably loud in here. If you like what you saw, please give us a great big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, all that happy crap.